Well, good afternoon on this lovely Christmas Day afternoon in which I hope you're enjoying yourselves. yourselves. If you have kids, I hope they're not going getting too riotous. I hope they're all behaving themselves. You'll have to warn them, of course, that if they don't behave, that Auntie B will come and live next door and frighten them in the middle of the night with her Dracula teeth. <laughs> But otherwise, I hope everything is fine. I hope you're all having a really nice time of it. I'm over here in the UK, enjoying a, a rather solitary Christmas day today. And I thought, in the great tradition of our glorious Queen, um, since I'm self-titled the Queen of Tyneside, I thought I would uh, make a similar Christmas message to the world. And here it is. I even dressed specially for the part with with the proper hair and, and, and all the rest of it. And as you might notice, I have my special mascot uh, sitting over my on my right here, uh, namely Kevin the Carrot. Because, of course, every great monarch needs a mascot. The Queen has got corgis. I've got Kevin the Carrot which just shows you what a real cheapskate I can really be. Any message of this sort, of course, will we'll start with the special conditions under which we are currently getting by. This has not been a very simple period for any of us. I'm sure I don't need to reiterate that too much. Who thought that in 2020 we'd be in the middle of what used to be the kind of thematic material you would get for a um, a disaster movie in the 1980s, namely a pandemic. I'm expecting Justin, Dustin Hoffman to turn up in my front door wearing a has, hazmat suit and demand that, he t that I tell him where the monkey is that's been spreading the virus. <laughs> I think that might happen at any minute. It just feels like that. It feels like one of those strangely weird events you never thought would ever happen in your entire life and weirdly enough it has but there you go so far so good Roxanne and myself have both been well I would touch wood in the grand old tradition but unfortunately I can't find any wood so I'll have to do something like touch plastic instead and find the mouse I'll touch the mouse instead there you go touch plastic 21st century equivalent it has been very difficult. I mean, on the serious side, um, it has been a traumatic year for almost everybody I know. I can't think of anybody who hasn't been traumatised in one way or another by the things that have gone on this year in terms of the attack on the virus. Uh, on oh, Sorry, the, the, the virus's attack on, on us and the government's attack on the virus and the you know the indignities and issues that have come out of all that in terms of the way in which we've had to get by and survive and the whole issue of just the uncertain future that comes out of all this this whole business of being a post-apocalyptic generation almost coming around the corner right at you or, you know not in a movie house but right next door to you at this very minute for Roxanne and myself I can't say it hasn't been a struggle it has been a quite a struggle of a year and we find ourselves in at times trying really hard just to stay afloat but we've managed so far luck good judgment hope and persistence have been on our side for the most part and i think you know given the same support that we've had in the past from you out there friends of ours who have really helped and thank you thank you thank you so much for that and um, all the rest of the people who have offered good wishes I, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done in in you know in, in terms of propping up our spirits keeping us from the, keeping us from starving <laughs> managing to keep us at least in contact with each other even if it's virtually through the internet and so on and so forth and I've kept on making videos yes you can complain and tell me to stop but I'm not going to stop I'm going to keep making videos and I'm going to get better at them yes you know, me and Orson Welles, 
well, you know, we're going to be very alike in that respect, except I'm going to remain thin. <laughs> and Roxanne has continued in her, her music making. She's had a really, really excellent year in terms of her music. You really have to, you know, hand it to that girl. She's a belter of a musician and, she, and a composer and really, really excellent at what she does. Go out and employ her today. And as for me, I'm I'm keeping on teaching. I, I've I've been working for a, two or three organisations, and uh, that's kept the wolf from the door. And I think 2021 should be a much better year for teaching than than 2020 has. So I'm not lacking in optimism. And I want to thank you again to all those who helped in one way or another. Even a kind word has been something really important to me and to Roxanne. So thank you very much. As to uh, 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 yourselves, all I can say is I wish you every best wish you can think of for the next for the coming year, for the next revolution around the sun. Uh, may you stay healthy. May your family stay healthy. May you may you be prosperous, and may at the end of the day be peaceful, wherever you happen to be right now. More importantly, may your hearts be lifted irrespective of the things that have happened this year and may you find a certain degree of happiness in the coming new revolution which seems an appropriate thing to call the coming year one way or another thank you for listening i hope you found this fun kevin likes it but he, he likes anything i say really and uh i look forward to speaking to you again yes um the queen of townside will be broadcasting again probably next Christmas, so you don't have to put up with that too often. <laughs> Thank you, and goodbye.